Okay, now you can just shoot me. This is 1748. The very first use of the word nymphias, which is actually two syllables in the Greek, um, in Matthew 25, is at the point in the meter where it would be 17, 18, and 19. 1748 and 49, therefore, in A.D. And historically, that stands for the War of the Austrian Succession. And all throughout this text, the, the key words here, Nymphias being a synonym for Kurias, which is a synonym for Son of Man, all of it designed to show the signs of the appearing of the Son of Man. My question to God a couple of days ago was, all right, Assuming that Matthew 24, 50, which is the 1640, you know, uh, text. Um, assuming that Matthew 15, uh, Matthew 24, 50, rather, um, the first, the occurrence of Kurios there means some kind of text, some kind of Bible text from 1640 to 1642 then what is it with respect to Numphias, which is another synonym showing up in Matthew 25. And that occurrence is at 17, 19, and 17, 18 syllable counts, which are 1748 and 1749 AD counts. Now you're looking at it, and I just posted the video, not knowing this. Okay, I was busy looking for something else, and I'm trying to find the earliest meters and what books they metered from 1505 to 1820. And here we go. Look at this. Right here. Job. Now, the video I posted showing how Job was metered is actually from 1878. This is a century earlier. Are you beginning to see the importance of this? God wanted the meter known, and it's been serially printed out. But the scholars, that that's beneath them. That They consider it poetry. They're not thinking about the wider, more important, and obvious meaning of meter, which is high if you're memorizing text orally. You have to have a way to memorize it and check your memorization. And they know that everybody meter, memorized the text orally. It was a command in Scripture in Deuteronomy 6 and Deuteronomy 30. Three times a year they had to meet in Jerusalem to hear the Bible given. And they were to memorize it and have it on their head day and night. That's what Deuteronomy 6 tells you. To this day, every Jew knows the most important thing is Torah. So what? happened to the scholars of the 20th century? Did their brains just turn off or did their arrogance turn on? 1748. So Numphias in Matthew 25 has the same significance, but it also continues that same duality, just like King Priest, Kata Melchizedek for Christ. It's got that same duality. There's going to be a satire on the politics of the period, as well as high I'm going to use these keywords that are really about me to show important dates when my word comes out. And it's important to know the meter because there's all kinds of stuff about the text you can't understand until you know the meter. Like if you go through that Genesis 1 meter, the videos I did in Vimeo on it, or just Google on Genesis 1 meter PDF at brainout.net, and you look at that, Moses' purpose for Genesis is very different from the way our pulpits explain it. Same text. But Moses' point of departure and his POV on it are very different. He's not, he's not explaining the origin of the universe. That's not even the goal. The goal is why are we, Israel, poised to go into the land just having come through the Red Sea? Except in Hebrew, it's not called the Red Sea. That was invented by the Greeks because of Pharaoh drowning there. The Jews called it Mat Yam Suf, Reed Sea. And he's explaining why there was a Reed Sea that they went through. 
and he likens that analogy coming through dry shod in water to the initial water to the flood to both the initial restoration not creation restoration of the world because Israel's there to restore the earth too and the flood which was also there to restore the earth he's making a, a, um, an analogy to two restorations the first one pre-man and the second one which was Noah but all of our scholars miss that why because they don't know the meter so you think God would kind of make it important hi here it is 1748 pay attention meter translation here book of Job began so it's not like God didn't cause people to do this and pay attention to the syllable counts it's that the scholars were too big-headed to think well gee maybe there's a larger reason duh Okay, I, I'm too angry now. I'm sinning. I'm going to go use one John one night and do something else for a few minutes. Okay, so I it was uh, syllables 1718 and 1719 in Matthew 25, which is toward the beginning of it. First occurrence of the word nufias, and that had to be something about scripture. We just saw 1748. Now here's 1749. Look, look, look. See here? See here? The last words of David, 2 Samuel, chapter 23. Divided according to the meter. I didn't know there was meter in 2 Samuel. Well, now I have to go look. That's kind of important because Isaiah 53 is based on David. And Psalm 1 is based on David. And David's basically telling you, Hi, I'm 42 years old when I write this. And I was crowned king when I was 14. I've been, you know, it's 28 years later. And 14 years from now, I'll have 21 years left to live. Likening himself to a tree from which fruit is born. And, you know, the tree doesn't grow its own fruit, so he's not praising himself. He's praising God because you know what a tree does not produce its own fruit you know what happens a tree is kind of like hair it grows out from the tree and the tree can't do really anything about it it happens to the tree the fruit happens to the tree so when all those stupid Christians are running around saying oh you're not fruit bearing as if fruit was something you produced they're the ones who aren't fruit bearing. They're as sterile as can be. Because if you are fruit bearing, it's happening to you. Ask any woman who's ever been pregnant. When she's in the middle of giving birth in labor, she turns to her husband and is angry and says, You did this to me. Yeah. You don't take credit for something that happens to you. You don't take any blame for it either. Ding, 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 ding. Last words of David. God thinks that's pretty important. He predicted it. So why are we looking at the meter? Ding. Oh, I need to die now.